saying Elena should be able to go from a box and with that diagram to a five number summary. They should be able to go from a five number summary to a box and a whisker diagram. So far, we knew how to get the data and then we knew how to represent it graphical. So what if the data is already represented graphical? Now on the box and whisker diagram, you don't have the data. You don't have the whole date. You just have the summary. So what do you have on your five number summary? The first thing that we should be able to, uh, to have is the five number summary, which is going to be the minimum. Based on what we see here, what is going to be the minimum value here? So we can say to them, okay, we have the mini, which is going to be equivalent to 12, okay? And then after that, they will ask us which, what is going to be the max? I guess between 64 and 66, then. Eh? So it means which is the max is going to be equivalent to our 65. Okay, after that, we need to tell them what is going to be our Q1, again. Okay? It's between 16 and 18, again. Okay? Then what is going to be our Q1? It's 17. Okay, what is going to be our Q2? Our Q2 is going to be equal to 3, 0. And then what is going to be our Q3? Is what? It's going to be equal to what? 38. Then this is going to be equal to what? To Q3. So now we know how to go from, we know how to go from the graphing card representation to our five number summer. Okay. What else should we know? They say we should be able to determine the interquartile range. Okay. Now, how do you determine the IQR, which is the interquartal range? How do you determine the interquartal range? We are supposed to say which we have Q3 minus Q1. Okay, okay what is our Q3 then? 38 minus 17. What is, what, is the, what is the mistake that we can make when it comes to IQR? What do you think is a mistake that we can make as learners here? We can minus Q2 ne? and Q1. That is the mistake that we can make. Ne? So we should always remember which it's Q3 and right and Q1. And then what do you get for this one then? Get 21. Okay. They say would you comment on the skewness of this data? What do you say about the skewness of this data? It's skewed to the left. Again. Okay? Why is it skewed to the left? It's because we see the box. According to the box, again, we have the box being bigger. Uh, on the left hand side than on the what on the on the right hand side. If we consider this one to be our middle value. Okay, what are we going to do next? What we are supposed to do then is to compare more than one box and whisker. What if we are given more than one box and whisker? And then they say which we should compare them. Um, how then do we compare 